Hi, this is Paul from TradeTheFifth.com and this is my daily stock signals video for Monday the 12th of November. Where I choose just one of our many signals for potential short and long fifth wave trades on the weekly, the daily and the 60 minute time frame. In our members area here we can see longs for the 12th of November and also on shorts here. I'm going to click and download the spreadsheet and the spreadsheet for today looks something like this. So on the, if you look at the bottom of the spreadsheet, we've got the weekly, the daily and the 60 minute. I've chosen one of the dailies today. There's a really big long list of potential shorts here on the daily time frame for that fifth wave move. So let's have a look at it on a chart. So I've chosen ON on the daily time frame for that potential short fifth wave move. So first of all, for those that have our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite, this is our Think or Swim version. We also have it available for Ninja Trader, Trade Station, and Multi Charts. From the highs up here, uh, we have uh, our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite on a previous Wave 5 high, hitting the target uh, right in the target level there. And then we've had a bearish move. And it's that bearish move that we're in right now. So this was a great trade on 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 the daily time frame using our Indicator Suite. Now we've had this bearish move and we're interested in this short fifth wave trade. So let's have a look more closely. So the Stock Scanner membership here. Uh, really concentrates on some main data that we've had a pullback against the main trend, which we have done. This wave four has been formed in our green probability zone. So there's an 85% probability if that resistance holds and it moves back down, it's going to go on and hit our automated fifth wave target zone here, around about 1328, right in the middle of this blue zone here. The next is the performance of this wave four, how it's behaved. This is the 535 oscillator, the top of the three subcharts here. And as we can see now, the oscillators pulled back between 90 and 140 percent of that wave three high there. Also crowned as well, so looking really good. The next filter is our stochastic. So this is our the middle subchart here. The false breakout stochastic, loads of yellow dots on the bottom here denoting really strong bearish trend. When the stochastic pulls back against there into the overbought zone for these potential shorts, uh, it's most likely wanting to return to that main bearish trend. Uh, so we have got a high probability trade on our hands here. So how do we set this up? Very, very simple. First of all, the stop loss. We always need a stop loss. That's got to be above the wave four. So that's around about 1891 there. Now the entry has to be below our 6.4 moving average low here, this red moving average. So I've gone for that and below the whole $17 mark for Monday's bar position here. So we have a, an entry of 16.79 with a stop loss again to remind you at 1891 and a potential target there of around about 1323 into the middle of our automated target zone. So great risk reward of 1 to 1 1.6 for this potential short on 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 the daily time frame that's come from our stock scanner membership and I've used our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite just to set that up making that a little bit easier. So that's it for today. Have a great trading day. Speak to you all tomorrow.